When I worked the Saddam trial, my role in that trial was I was the lead American attorney advisor to the Iraqi prosecutors. But that didn't mean that I was the one that was standing in the courtroom objecting. I was coaching and mentoring the Iraqi prosecutors, trying to talk to them about what evidence needed to be presented and also mentor them about how a prosecutor should act. Now, I volunteered to go to Iraq. I believed in the, in the mission and I still believe in the mission. Saddam Hussein was an evil person and he needed to go. The reason they assigned me to the Saddam Hussein trial was because they needed somebody that had operational experience who could figure out a plan to move the witnesses from the Shia town in the middle of the Sunni Triangle all the way down to the Green Zone in Baghdad. I had been an infantry officer before I went to law school at SIU Carbondale and switched over to be an attorney or a judge advocate in the United States Marine Corps. So because they saw that in my background, they asked, do you think that you could arrange convoys and transportation to move the witnesses down? And I said, sure, I, I think I definitely can. And we wound up getting that operations order through, and we did have military support to move the witnesses down to the green zone in Baghdad. That was one of the major contributions that I made to the Saddam trial. I'm not gonna be intimidated after being a part of that historic event. If you've dealt with Saddam Hussein, the ace of spades in Baghdad, you're not gonna be intimidated by Illinois politics in Springfield or Chicago.